Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Max. I'm back today with a YouTube video. Today, we're back with episode 10, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. If it doesn't look like I went anywhere from the last video, it's because I didn't, bro. I'm just knocking out a lot of videos at once because I'm a savage like that. So anyways, <laughs> in the last video, technically, it's been a day for you. It's been about 10 seconds for me. We got the Bastard Sword to plus 6. We found the Great Club, which looks fucking amazing, by the way. And... Found another blacksmith, beat the uh, Ruin Sentinels, found a secret fucking area. A lot happened last episode. You should go check it out if you missed it. So, for now, though, I think we need to explore... Um, actually, there is... Dude, look how many fucking bonfires I have in the Lost Bastille now. Servant's Quarters. Yeah, that's where we ended up because we've seen Stride Cell. We've seen the Tower Apart. Macduff's Workshop, we got that one, too. So, let's go back to the Servant's Quarters because there's still a little bit more to explore. But I think after that, I need to progress further into, I guess, into the bridge. Because we went down there and beat the Pursuer, the Pursuer clone, and we found the Ferris Stone. So we need to remember that area, because if I don't do it immediately, and I'm hitting A on every wall, that's another part of these episodes. Because, dude, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. Oh. Um, all right, there's a big-ass tower, okay. Yeah, there is an item here. Holy shit. Oh! Very Dark Souls of you, Dark Souls. <laughs> all right, GG's. <gasps> Bastille key. Okay, so that must be the one for all the locked doors, of course. Naturally, we find it at the end of the fucking level. That probably unlocks Macduff's workshop. The hashtag normal way. Let's go up the stairs first. Um, okay. <laughs> Hitting A on every wall. Oh. I'm just... I'm just worried that I'm not going to get every wall. Alright, there we go. Because I feel like I've missed a couple in this in the series so far. Somebody commented and said, hey, you, you probably missed a wall. <laughs> That's another thing about Dark Souls 2. They, they memed a lot heavier than Dark Souls 1. They memed you a lot. <laughs> so, I guess I can appreciate that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, come on. <laughs> Alright. Oh, now we're here. I see. Oh. GG's. We're back here now. Gotcha. So really, the only thing that's left is to get that item somehow. Which feels like a fuckfest. Now, I'm pretty sure up here, this should lead to Strayed Cell Bonfire, right? Sort of. And then that's where we're going to go now. Okay. I feel like they're... This door... Use Bastille Key. Good. Holy shit. Alright. Item. Firebomb. Petrified Dragon Bone. There's so many of these guys. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. A hidden wall to the bonfire. That'd be funny. Dude, imagine. And then I wasted the fragrant bench of your. Although, I guess I didn't waste it because he gave me the Lord Soul guy. What the fuck is the point? So, it's really just for the petrified dragon bone. Because I already got that. Oh. That's an interesting follow up. Okay. Um. Okay, well then let's just go across. Where's the dragon? Standard Dark Souls 2 dragon opportunity. Oh, they didn't take it. Interesting. Or a standard Dark Souls dragon opportunity, I should say. That guy is super easy. Surely they wouldn't put another boss right here, right? Although this is Dark Souls 2, the, the game with the most bosses. Sinner's Rise. Okay, so this is another area. So we had the Belfry Luna. Now we have Sinner's Rise. 
So I'm probably going to go this way because this is the way the game wanted me to go, technically, because this area wasn't blocked behind the ferris stone. So I'm going to go this way. Sinners rise, okay. Oh, nice. Large soul of the lost and dead. Sweet. That does not sound pleasant. Oh, what the fuck? Alrighty then. That looks terrifying. We got a lot of bodies just hidden on ledges here. Hidden wall, hidden wall. <laughs> oh, how did I miss this bonfire? Okay. So the whole point of this is a bonfire. Okay, so this is the first Sinner's Rise bonfire. Whew. There's like so much happening. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with all this. Okay. Now we go downstairs. I see your crossbow there, buddy. Yeah, you sneak attack. Human effigy. Oh, what do you know? Alright. Let's see if this is a good opportunity. Nope. Oh, that does quite a bit of damage, actually. Only problem is, is like, you know. Ooh, that did counter damage, or he's just weaker. The archers are just weaker. Although, I don't think so, because the other guy was an archer. I'm trying to use my sorceries, guys, I promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Common fruit. Bonfire. Or er, bonfire. Elevator it is. There's an item. Sweet. Love me some items. Last writing knife. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Is this stone supposed to represent, hey, you cannot do anything here? There's an NPC. Okay. Ooh, that's ominous. That's probably a boss. <laughs> Alright. Need that rusted iron ring from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Lost some kite shield. Sweet. How much does that do? Uh. <gasps> what the fuck? That's a flexile sentry. Okay, that's really off putting. How are you gonna have a fucking boss? I guess it's not uncommon. They did that with Pinwheel, but like still. Okay, that's kind of weird. Holy shit. Does he really de-aggro that quickly? He does. That's so awkward. This is like a boss that I just faced and he already de-aggroed. That's kind of weird. Ouch. He does a lot of damage though. Are you fucking kidding me? He can't even fit through the doorway? Okay. And he has no ranged attacks. So that could definitely be cheesed and manipulated. Holy shit. Problem is, I can just back up as far as I need to go, and who gives a fuck? I just heal. And then just cheese him at the door. Like, dude, look at this. This is bad. Because he's trying to run to catch up to me. But the AI doesn't realize that it needs to, like, stop because it can't get to the door. Dude, that's bad. That was the attack right there. That's probably the worst enemy placement so far. It didn't even give them it. It gave like 2,500 souls. Not worth whatsoever, bro. Item. Large soul of a nameless. Okay. That was so weird. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Um... More of these fucking guys, okay. Left or right? Let's try right. Okay. 
Okay, I bet that guy's gonna wake up. Is there hidden walls in these ones? I, I think the stones are supposed to represent there's no hidden walls. Is that what I would assume? There's no point to that room, though. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so the Bastille key also can be used in the Sinner's Rise. Also. I don't know why I said also. I meant awesome. So this room literally just serves the purpose of you being able to summon this guy. Okay, that's... So there's a door there. Let's check out the other side of this thing here real quick. Okay. You, oh, sweet. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck was that? That was just a hidden enemy that drops a fucking stone. That's stupid. That's kind of dumb. Use Bastille Key. <gasps> it's a hide knight. Oh my god, it's a fucking spear knight. More like a fucking dead knight, bitch! Eat my shit! Oh, that guy was easy as fuck. Hey, drop the hide spear. Twenty-five decks. Holy shit! Fire seed. What the hell does that do? <sighs> so many items, bro. God, it's exhausting. Is that what that was? Seed of the Tree of the Giants. Okay. Well, hold on. So, what did I even just get? Fire Seed. Strengthens Pyromancy Flame. Oh, so you need that for the Pyromancy Flame. Gotcha. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I'm assuming the Bastille key will look over here, too. Yep. Look over here. It will look over here. Oh, there's things down here, too. Of course, there's more of these dipshits. I'm not even going to try it. There's no way there's illusory walls in the water, right? That'd be so stupid. All right, nothing in here. Ooh, that's huge. Ferris Lockstone. Okay, so now we got another one of those. We actually do have one more Ferris... Lockstone we can use. There is the other, um... What do you call it? Oh. Um... There's that one all the way back in the forest of the Fallen Giants. So I can keep that in mind. There's literally nothing in that room. Literally nothing. There's literally nothing in this room. That makes me think there's illusory walls. So stupid. Is there more? Oh, no, that's... Okay. So, is there a point to not just going up here and going through these doors? I, I don't know. Okay, it just leads to a fucking ladder that goes down and connects. Okay. Okay, I was just making sure that I didn't have an item that I might have missed. Alright. So this definitely is a boss. There's no way this isn't a boss. Um, okay. Probably an item at the end of these, right? Nope. Go fuck yourself. Maybe a hidden wall? Not even. Okay. I don't even have to check anything except the back wall because they curve. They're not going to animate a curved wall. Radiant life gem. Nice. Alright, so I have boss or now we go up these. So let's go up these. Use Bastille Key. What? Um, okay. Is that like... Tar or something? Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Okay. Let's try this one. Is there any... Oh, there's an item in this one at least. 
So it's probably just another one of those rooms that just is empty. Smooth and silky stone. Is it like oil? Hmm. So like, you'd have to carry a flame through that water to light that maybe. And that's the challenge. Eh, fuck it. Let's just face the boss. Cool. Pulsing anus. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, this is the, um... That one boss, okay. Okay. The Lost Center. Okay. She's a little bit hoppy. He or she's a little bit hoppy. I think it's a she. If I remember correctly. Takes some damage, though. Hoppy for sure. That's probably how she gets most people. She finally hit me. Alright, don't get cocky, got it. Dude, I'm doing so much damage. Am I supposed to be doing this much damage to this person? Dude, this is disgusting amounts of damage. I should probably not. That's why I was worried about getting cocky. Holy shit, that was lucky that I didn't just die there. Ugly Estes! Okay, GG's. Good. That was a great soul. That was a little easy. The Ruin Sentinels are harder than her, bro. Come on. Damn, that's a lot of souls, bruh. Alright, well. We shall open the door. Is that the center's rise done already? I cleared that shit in like 15 minutes. Oh, there must be more down here. Okay. Hey, let's go. Imagine this was the first Mimic. You've defeated a great soul. Mimic, bitch! Elizabeth Mushroom and a Fragrant Branch of Yore. That's a good reward. How many of them Fragrant Branches of Yore do we have now? Just one, right? Because we used the other one on Strayed. Nice. So we have one of each of these cool things. Two, three. We've beaten six bosses. Dragon Rider, Old Dragon Slayer. Because there was the two in the Force of All Giants, the last giant, the Pursuer, two in the uh, Heights Tower Flame, Flexile Sentry, and now the... Oh, no, seven. Yeah, Rune Sentinels, and then now the Soul of the Center. But I, I'm assuming I can't use that. Because I'm going to have to do some sort of Lord Vessel. That looked very pixely. Okay. the fuck? <laughs> Why is this room so massive? I'm just, I'm just a dumbass fucking bitch looking around for every hidden door at this point because I don't want to lose all the game secrets because oh it's not completely square. Look at that. It divots right there. Light bonfire. Primal bonfire lit. Okay. Return to Firefire. Uh, I guess so. So let's think. Before we do that, the Force of the Fallen Giants and Hyde's Tower of Flame both all led to this moment, to where we got the Lord Soul. So this means that that section is done. All we have left is Belfry Luna, which I think is a late game area, if I had to guess. So we're not going to do it right now. And then we have... That's it, right? So like... 
literally now all we have left is the other two sections you can go. Is there another way to go, though? I can't remember now. Mm -mm. Because the that hides led to the, car, the, the ship, which ultimately just led to Lost Bastille. Okay. Well, that's kind of stupid. I wonder if that guy's gonna say anything different now than I did the Lord Soul. You have acquired the soul of an yes. old one. That is more than most of them can say. Sweet. I didn't get another Estus Flash though, which kind of sucks. Or Estus Flash Shard or whatever. Okay, so let's get a couple into Intelligence. A couple more into Adaptability. A couple more into Strength. One more into Attunement. One more into stamina, one more into that, and then that's gonna be good, I guess. Damn, levels go fast, bro. At least we're getting more health with every, with everything we level. So like, uh, vigor is like really not that important. Okay. I knew you'd be around. <sighs> well, actually, I don't need anything from you, uh, and I still have quite a few Estus or Estus. Life gems. Let's see if the cat has anything new to say. And then I guess we'll check out... Because, like... That just leads to Hades, right? This leads to Hades. The, for the other one leads to Force Fallen Giants. Oh. There's a lady here now. But, yeah, I remember now that there's that, too. So, like, what the fuck? Okay. Yep, I agree. This lovely thing reveals the other part. Okay. So how do you you lovely thing only runs on miracles. Oh fuck. Shall I provide you with one? Move path. For two thousand souls. I don't have two thousand souls. And she's still preaching miracles. No need for miracles. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, okay, so there is another way to go. You can go if you move that path for 2,000 souls. Cool. I guess we will be doing that. Or we can try the pit or that one. But I could have swore, like I said in the, like the first episode, that was a late game area. So let's talk to the cat. And then we'll move the path, I guess. What the fuck you doing, cat? Oh. Oh, you do have a rather a type I'm quite fond This place is all everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Okay. Isn't it wonderful? This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. It's enough to keep even a Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. What? They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake. No one even imagined that. <laughs> yes. Nothing like yourself, for you have a most pleasant scent. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? I guess I need to go talk to that guy. The only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants or a type of okay. give something to Well, I'm not really interested in covenants, so okay. Nothing suited. Thank you, cat lady. Let's go talk to homie. Because surely another flame has been lit by now. People are gonna get sick of me going to talk to this guy. But I swear to god, dude, there's gotta be something. Yeah, see? Let's go. Even more flames of Yes, opinion. more dialogue. Me, bro, me. But there is something greatly comforting. It seems to fulfill something very precious. Something I would not venture far. It was blocked by a wall. Something that it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound. Okay. Did you see the flame on the map? Oh fuck, dude. 
give me something for my efforts, bro, for coming and chatting with you and being your friend. <laughs> okay, so let's pop a soul real quick and move that path. I only need like 800 souls, so let's do Soul of the Nameless, I guess. I have all these souls, bro. I'm chilling. So, we, okay. Dude, there's so much to keep track of at this point. So, we have the Miracle Guy in No Man's Wharf. We have Strayed, who can do the soul for us. We have our both both our fucking blacksmith. Bro. Too many people to keep track of. Do I have a better armor set yet? Oh, <gasps> Dude! No, we didn't finish. We don't need to do this yet. Okay, I'll do it, though. But we did not finish the Lost Bastille, actually, guys. Just speak up. That's why. Alright, shut up, bitch. Move the path. Okay, this is kind of cool. I will admit. Well done. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Rug water. Sick. Um... There is more to the last Bastille. Remember that one where I was like, I came out of the servants' quarters and I could go up the stairs or I didn't go the other way. So I do need to go that way. Holy shit, this is like fucking tight, bro. Well, I'm kind of investing into this. Hopefully there's like a bonfire. <laughs> Hello? I don't know who you are, but believe me, the what? frailty of the way disrupts. Believe me, that I'm interested in one thing, dog. Dude, why does everyone? Me, I'm interested in one. No one says I have the gift. Maybe. Okay, Huntsman's corpse. So let's light this bonfire. Now we have this new area to explore in the next episode. Because for now, we gotta go finish... Dude, look at all these fucking areas already. We gotta go do the Lost Bastille. We gotta go back to the Servants' Quarters. Because we've got to get that last bit. Because we can go... And then that's gonna be the video already. Because we've already hit the, like, 30 minutes. Um, and I don't even know if I've used all the different Lost Bastille key hole slots. but So, like, it was this way. Right? Dude, I'm so fucking hungry right now. I could go for like a whole chipotle burrito. Yeah, so it was a hup. Or out. And I never went out. Okay. Um. What in the fuck is that? Oh, nice. Flame butterfly. Okay. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. <sighs> so, this might just take me to somewhere I've already been. Yep, it does, I think. Okay. Well, that was kind of pointless. Although, I feel like there's one more area in the, that the Lost Bastille Key hasn't taken me yet. I'm probably wrong, though. Yeah, because this just leads up. Well, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> Alright. And that just leads to servants' quarters. Dude, I swear there's something I haven't done yet. With this lost Bastille key. I don't know now. Oh, fuck it. <gasps> there's an item right there. You have to reclose the door. Solvent. Okay, well, that was kind of worth it, I guess. <laughs> Is there anything else to do? Uh, not really, I guess. So we have Huntsman's Corpse, we have Belfry Luna, we have the other two areas. So there's plenty of places to go, and I guess I just need to decide if I want to get that um, soul or not, because I've done all these areas with Strayed. I guess we'll go back to Majula for now, and then... I think that's it, dude. I think, I literally think that's it. Um, so, I guess we'll just end it there. This might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but there's really no point in starting the Huntsman's Corpse. So, this was episode 10.
Dark Souls 2 Scarlet First Gen playthrough. If you guys did enjoy, please sure leave a like and subscribe, especially if you're new around here. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video, I guess. Actually, what we can do, I guess, to make this a little bit longer of an episode, we could go ahead and test out some of the miracles. So we obviously know what that all this other shit does, but like, let's try Shockwave just to see what it looks like. I'm curious. Okay, that was kind of boring. <laughs> Uh, let's try... Okay, surely this one will be... Can I use it? Okay, good. Soul Barrage. Okay, now that's pretty fucking tight. Soul Spear Barrage. It's like a mini Soul Spear. And then let's do... See, we could... We could finally do Magic Weapon. Eight uses. Yearn. Okay. See, like, we could... Oh, but the problem is... Okay, we'd have to put... The catalyst over here now. Where's my catalyst? I had to put it in the offhand. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. See if we do even more damage. So we'll have to test that in the next video if uh, magic weapon does even more damage. Um, so uh, also leave in the comments down below if we should. Uh, get the what? What path should we go? Should we go Great Club? Should we go for the uh, Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword? Should we keep going on the Bastard Sword? Should we keep putting in the Miracle or sorry, uh, Sorceries or should we focus more strength? Let me know. I'd be here. I'd be. Uh, I'd be curious to see what you guys have to say. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.